Tonight we're following a carbon monoxide scare in Detroit that sent six people, including three children, to the hospital. 7 Action reporter Ali Hawks here with what you need to know to keep your family safe. It was around 2.30 this morning that a hazmat team had to come to this house behind me. And once they got here, they found deadly levels of carbon monoxide. A woman who was able to escape the home with her son says she feels lucky to be alive. I was scared, screaming and crying, but I was just trying to make sure my son was okay. 30 year old Ashley Young and her son live with her grandfather on the second floor of this two story flat. She says she woke up in the middle of the night with a headache. Her son felt even worse. He got up. I was like, let's go to the bathroom because he had to throw up and he he passed out on the floor. From there, Ashley called 911. She says her grandfather called her first floor neighbors to warn them to get out. Six people, including three children, were taken to the hospital, but will all be OK. The fire department says a faulty furnace is to blame. Captain Christopher Dixon with the Detroit Fire Department says the home tested positive for deadly levels of carbon monoxide. It's odorless, colorless, you can't smell it, and the symptoms are feeling sick, nausea, sleepy. Christopher Dixon says now is the time to have your furnace checked before kicking it on to beat the cold. It's also time to make sure your home has a carbon monoxide detector. Installation's easy. All you have to do is plug one into an outlet. Ashley says there is not one inside her home, but will now be investing in a carbon monoxide detector. I am a thousand percent grateful. I look at things. I always look at things different, but I definitely thank God because he answered my prayer. Definitely. The Detroit Fire Department does give out free carbon monoxide detectors. We have a phone number for them on our website at WXYZ.com. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, Allie Hoxie, 7 Action News. Important information, Allie, thank you. Crew